Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be making a low carb pasta less keto lasagna. Let's get right into it. Jumping right in, we're gonna start with making our pasta noodles. So I have cream cheese here. This is also a mix of shredded mozzarella and freshly grated Parmesan. And then I have three eggs. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take the cream cheese and we're gonna dump in our mozzarella and Parmesan. And we're gonna put it in the microwave and start melting it and combining. All right, I'm gonna take this and throw it in the microwave. We're gonna do this for 30 seconds at a time. First 30 seconds are up. Let's check to see if it's melted yet. It's starting to melt. Let's keep adding 30 seconds and we'll stop when we see that it's completely melted. Okay, that was about a minute and a half. We can see that it's already melted, so we can start to mix this together. It should super, super easily mix. That's all mixed up. Let's add our eggs. I'm gonna slowly add one egg at a time. All right, last egg going in. We're gonna keep mixing this until it's fully combined. All right, that's fully combined. And I just have some salt and pepper here. I'm going to season this a little bit. And I'm using sea salt, and this is freshly ground black pepper. Just mix that in. Now that my mixture is done, I have a pre-lined tray with parchment paper, and I am going to transfer this mixture onto the parchment paper. Perfect. Now that we have that all spread out on the tray, let's throw this into the oven. I have my oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna cook that for about 15 to 20 minutes. While that's baking, let's get started on the actual filling. So I have a pan here that I will set to medium, medium, low. And I love these by Tefal. Not a sponsor, just a huge fan. Uh, they're non-stick and they're perfect for cooking basically anything. I cook anything in all of their types of pans. Now that my pan is hot, I'm gonna take some olive oil. This is just some extra virgin olive oil. Coat the bottom. Okay, and we're gonna throw in our diced onion. We're gonna cook this down until it starts to get slightly yellow, and then we're gonna throw in our minced garlic. Let's add a little bit of salt and pepper. I like to add salt and pepper at every stage of the cooking process. This just enhances the flavor of everything that you're cooking. All right, that is starting to get yellow. Let's put in our garlic. That looks perfect. It's very aromatic. And now we are gonna take some tomato paste and put about a tablespoon in. Perfect. Give that a good stir. Our onions and garlic are nicely coated and I am going to now add my meat. So for my meat option, you can use ground beef if you want, ground lamb, ground pork, ground chicken, whatever meat you prefer. 
I am using chorizo and a mix of spicy Italian sausage. I purchased these from the butcher and I took them out of the casing. And we're just going to start breaking this up. Of course, add a little salt and pepper. And at this point, we're also going to add some oregano. And some parsley. The sausage already has plenty of flavor, but this is just gonna add a little extra touch. We're gonna keep cooking this until most of the moisture evaporates, and then we're gonna add some marinara sauce. And the marinara sauce that I'm using is just uh, store-bought, but I made sure that you check the back, uh, make sure there's no added sugar, uh, and it's as low carb as you can get it. That's looking great. I am now gonna take my marinara. I'm using this one by Rouse. And we're just gonna add, it's about a third of a cup. And you can add as much as you want. Some people like lasagna, super saucy. Some people like it more meaty. This is based on preference entirely. I'm turn my heat off. And we can start with a lasagna assembly. I've taken our pasta out of the oven and it's gonna look like this. You can make a thinner sheet, but I prefer this thickness of the sheet. And I just have a pizza cutter here. We are going to make slices uh, just like the pasta slices you would have in a regular lasagna. So let's first go down the middle. and across. We can now start assembling our lasagna. So I have my pasta here, and then I am using this ricotta. I like this one the best because it's the best ingredients in it, and uh, it's also the lowest in carb. For some reason, there's a bunch of stuff and a lot of ricotta that, that you can buy. So this is my preference on it. And then I also have some basil here that I have chopped already. Our meat mixture. And then this is a blend of uh, mozzarella and freshly grated Parmesan. First things first, going to take my favorite avocado oil spray. Not a sponsor, just a fan. The Chosen Foods one is my favorite. And I'm just gonna spray the bottom of my dish here. And that's just to prevent uh, any sticking, so just a little bit. We are gonna take our first pasta and lay it on the bottom here. And next thing we're gonna do is we're going to take some ricotta Perfect. And we're gonna take some of our basil, just a little sprinkle of it. Now some of our meat that we made. All right, and then some of our mozzarella and Parmesan. Just keep repeating these steps until you've used up all of your ingredients. When you're finished, this is what it's gonna look like. We're gonna pop this now into the oven. I still have it heated to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. We're gonna cook it for about 30 minutes and then I'll show you the final product. And here is our finished product. I've let it cool for a couple minutes and I put a little portion here. I mean, look at how delicious this looks. I can't wait to try it. I'm gonna do a nice cross section right here. Give it a little taste. Mmm. 
Oh my God. That is super cheesy. Spicy from the chorizo. Get that hint of basil, it's really, really nice. And these pasta noodles that we made, I mean, it even has the same texture as a regular noodle. And I think because it's so cheesy, it gives that extra cheesiness to the dish that just tastes absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait for you guys to try this recipe. It is absolutely delicious. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Also hit that notification bell to never miss a tasty upload. Till next time.